Have you seen Star Trek Discovery yet? Uh, no. Have you? Have you? No. Here's the problem. Get off my set. Here's the problem. I can't get it. You can't get it? I don't have... CBS All Access or even on their website has the first episode. I, you need subscriptions for those. And I don't I have... Any, do you need it on their website? I think it's just freely available, the first episode. Uh, I, tr I try to require a subscription. Oh, come on. Now, I, I, maybe CBS I, All Access is five bucks a month. I spend enough money on other subscription services. If you're, watch, if you're watching this in the U.S., you can pick it up on Netflix. That's right. That's that cool. Would be nice. yeah. That would be nice. Netflix, Netflix Canada. Who yes. wants to... Okay. I w if it was on Netflix, I would yeah. have already watched it. Yeah, so would I. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So we said this is worth getting CBS All Access for. So we're going to do it. And that's all that we've used it for thus far. <laughs> well, is it worth it? That's the question. I okay. think it's Star Trek. It, like, this is legitimate Star Trek. So it's worth it in that we feel like, my wife and I feel like we're supporting the franchise. Right. Just the same reason that we went to see the movies, even though they were not. Great. Well received. You know, I I, I like the movies. <laughs> they were okay as a standalone thing, but they were not Star Trek. Plain and simple, they, they had not, a different feel. They were not in line with Gene Roddenberry's vision. If you were right. uh, an original okay. series or the Next Generation, especially uh, fan, then it's not in line with that at all. That's true. But they had to bring in a whole new set. Anyway, we're getting off topic. So that's talk about movie. your shows. <laughs> so the the TV show Star Trek Discovery, we've been really really excited about it. And it really does feel more like the movies than Star Trek. Mm. They've changed a lot of stuff to make it feel like the movies. Okay. Klingons are not Klingons. There's subtitles to read in order to follow the conversations that Klingons are having. Oh. Which is okay and kind of cool. I, kudos to the actors. They did a fantastic job of carrying that. But, okay, so... When you think about it, the plot line of Star Trek Discovery, though, this is before they had the Universal Translator. So technically... Timeline-wise, yes. Yes, you're watching it before they had the technology to translate for them. So really, you're seeing it from the perspective of the Discovery crew. Okay, okay. Where, where they I'll give it that. I'll give it that. So th that's if my take this was on. not sci-fi and this was not suspension of disbelief and <laughs> ability to use technologies that actually don't exist then I'll give it that. Right. So we were looking and hoping for a Star Trek to mm -hmm. carry us through because it's been a long time since we've had a good Star Trek. Yep. I'm a next generation baby. So Grew up on the Starship oh, yes. Enterprise, NCC 1701D. Captain Jean-Luc Picard is my dad. So, <laughs> you know, this is, this is me. Yeah, I got his genes. <laughs> um, they raised me, buddy. True, true out. It's so, true, yep. That's, that's what we true. Wanted. My that's first we crush wanted. was Wesley Crusher. Aww. That was my first childhood crush. You had a crush on the crush. Yeah. Er. Yeah. Nice. Um, we had a big surprise, though, when we saw Star Trek Discovery, and it was not what we were hoping for. Okay. And then, what? We saw the Orville. <gasps> I love Orville. We saw the Orville. This is Seth MacFarlane. We're watching this. Which feels like Star Trek. Yes, it does. It feels like Star Trek. We know that Seth MacFarlane is uh, a big Star Trek Next Generation fan, mm -hmm. original series fan. He, he made an appearance or two mm -hmm. on The Next Generation. Um, so to have him making a spoof we were expecting is something else. But right, the spoof ended up being really good. It's not a spoof. No, it, I mean, there's there's elements of spoofiness mm -hmm. there are quirky. but very minimal it's almost like if we were to thrust real people into the next generation universe right how would that be would right. they be the stiff morally perfect people or would they be a little bit on the witty side a little bit you know fun loving and and mm -hmm. flawed <laughs> slightly flawed here anything and there. with flawed. seth MacFarlane has some sort of flaw though and that's what's funny about it this is the guy who made family guy Yes. And mm -hmm. continues too. So my wife, Becca, and I are sitting there watching the Orville. We're at season, uh, episode four. Mm -hmm. I think there are five in total so far okay. as we broadcast this. And I looked at my wife and I said, you realize Family Guy is paying for this. 
the special effects are amazing. The yes. ships are amazing. The costuming is amazing. And the videography and production is outstanding. Even the script was really well done. Outstanding. Yeah. Fantastic. Somebody said to me, well, episode three was not as good as episodes one and two. And I said, well, here's, what, here's my perspective on episode three, and I won't give you any spoilers. My perspective is they took a real risk to show us that the Orville is not just a slapstick spoof. Yes. They showed us that it is pushing to be something like Star Trek The Next Generation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Moral uprightness um, against racism and equality for all people, regardless of gender or sexual orientation or race. That's what it is it shows which is very much in line with star trek the next generation and mm -hmm. so then see you know seeing my comment they say you know what i think you're right yep episode three they showed us that they're not just a funny spoof it's true so we watched the the new star trek discovery we watched star trek uh we watched the orville and the orville's coming out on top uh, nice i when i saw the first episode of orville i was expecting something uh not unlike um, the other movie. Uh, he did um, Thousand Ways to Die in the West. Haven't seen it. Okay. And I was like, okay, I, I expected it to be something like that where it was kind of cheese. Okay. Um, well, Family well, Guy, I, I, that's well, what I, yes, I was expecting yeah. more of that. Yeah, but no, I, no. I was pleasantly surprised to the point I turned off the episode and it was one of those moments where you sit there going, I, I actually enjoyed that i, I yeah. wasn't expecting that, that would i want to see <laughs> the next that. episode have you seen it what I do you need think to, i need to watch it tell us what you think it's orville versus star trek discovery which one feels more like star trek to you if you're watching this on youtube or through our website comment below otherwise send us an email go to category5.tv and you can find us by clicking on contact us 